Hi Aries, it's L. Yes, I'm back. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aries, when I was in meditation for you, I heard sitting before. I don't know what that's about. So sitting before someone sitting, I don't know. Let's see what the cards have to offer us. That one was a new one there, sitting before. Maybe you're going to sit down at a dinner before. Maybe you're going to sit before a council or group. Um, maybe somebody who will, um, you know, render judgment. I don't know. Let's see what this is about, Aries. We're going to start with these cards. Let's see. What do we have for Aries here? Sitting before. Sit. Okay, this card came up. Some of you are on a group or council. When we are together, it's pure bliss. When we are apart, the insecurity set in. Okay, so maybe you're going to sit before someone and tell them that. Maybe they're going to sit before you and tell you that. Um, you're going to sit in front of someone and you're going to really maybe pour out your emotions or they're going to pour out theirs to you. You're going to tell them exactly how you feel. You're going to be a communicator. Um, you're going to sit before, I'm seeing like dinner a date of some sort um maybe addicted to social media maybe someone's going to sit before you and tell you that maybe i feel like you're addicted to social media um you'll do anything for follows likes subscribers and shares somebody's out of touch with reality so um maybe somebody's gonna maybe someone's gonna tell you that maybe you sit before an, an audience too much or you you're concerned about what the audience thinks you're concerned about other people I don't know, sitting before, or maybe this is what you're going to be telling someone else. Sitting before, what is going on for um, the uh, Aries here? You would be dealing with someone who is just like, they care more about what others think than what the people around them that love them, the people who have to tolerate them on a day-to-day -day basis. Interesting that I use the word tolerate. Yeah, the will of fortune. Okay, so someone could be in maybe a music industry or they could be in some type of industry here where they sit before different um, social circles or sitting before somebody's going to be in a different social circle here um, or someone is in a different social so called social circle somebody's going to be around different people maybe you're going to be in a different group you're going to be of a different caliber um these people could unlock some type of um i heard benevolence or abundance for you yeah, the chariot card. It's like the universe is maybe putting you before, sitting before. You're going to sit before a lot of different people. You're going to sit before a group, an audience. Um, you're going to sit before someone or a lot of someones here. It could be you could do something with the zodiac. You could do something in regards to maybe the tarot also. Um, something about astrology. Okay, you could be an astrologist or astrologer. Um, it looks like... Um, I knew it. It was coming out of the devil. Some of you in, in the industry, some type of industry here. Somebody feels like you you do anything for fame. The devil card talks about doing anything to rise to the top, to have the followers, to have the likes, to be number one. Being willingly deceived, um, easily deceived, and also doing anything uh, for money, abundance, fame, fortune. Uh, it's just like the universe puts you in a place where opportunity is abundant but there's also perverse here yeah anything from money the ace of pentacles you could be dealing with someone who's very materialistic someone could be an officer officer of the law someone could drive a black and white car and they have black and white car someone could be addicted to you or, or they could be driving by your house or they can't let you go this could be some type of soulmate here when you're together it's pure bliss when you are a partner they're in shambles, they're in all type of insecurity. Somebody could be just addicted to you also. They could be addicted to watching you on social media. They could be addicted to, um, yeah, watching you on social media. This could be somebody who's stalking you. This could even be stalker or someone who's just completely head over heels. Yeah, tennisaurus could be a masculine energy. Somebody can't deal with the fact that it's over, that it is done. Um, 
This person could be trying to find out where you live, who you live with, what you drive, where you're going. Um, this person is addicted to um, maybe, what are they addicted to? The King of Cups could be dealing with somebody who hasn't expressed their feelings to you, who isn't good at expressing their feelings, who is uh, emotionally manipulative. You could be dealing with somebody who has more than one person, um, but they want you as an option also. They're greedy. They won't let go. This is somebody who could be married. This is someone who could be at a, at a distance from you. Maybe you have to drive to them. This is somebody here who has um, maybe they hold a great office here um, sitting before you. Sitting before you or sitting before. I don't know if this person is sitting before you. I'm seeing like maybe date. You're on a date. This person could be in a corner watching you on a date. This is like not good vibes here. This is also the universe putting you in a place where you're going to have to make a good decision. Uh, with the ace of pentacles and the devil here will you do anything for the money will you sell out or you know will you compromise yourself or your morals or morality um, this person could be asking you to do things against maybe what you think is kosher what you think is um best in terms of this person could be asking you to do different sexual activities where you just don't feel comfortable Maybe they want you in a third party situation. They want you to do things to other people, women, men. Uh, seven of Swords, um, this person has ulterior motive. They could be, um, again, spying, stalking, going after you. Um, you're the subject of gossip. They bring you up, um, again, sneaking around, deceptive. They're trying to, um, they're trying to go undetected. Be, be careful. You have a judgment card. Um, they could be trying to revive the relationship, but they're going about it in all the wrong way. Um, they could be trying to get you to make some fast snap decision about coming back together. This is crazy. This is crazy. Could be dealing with uh, maybe a Sagittarius. This is someone maybe that you were married to. Um, this is somebody who cannot let you go. Um, maybe this person knew that maybe you cheated before. Um, this could be a husband or ex-husband. They will not let you go. They cannot let you go. Um, with with you, it's not better. Um, excuse me. Without you, it's not better. Yep, I knew it. This is somebody that you know that was family that maybe you were married to. They are married. They can't let you go. This is crazy. They're going crazy now. Um, it's like fight or flight, and they feel like they want to fight for the marriage, but you're done. They want to fight for this, but you're done. Um, somebody's done. What is the advice for Aries? What is the advice for Aries? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Be dedicated to your work around the clock is what I'm hearing. Around the clock. Six of Wands. It looks like you're going to get what you want. You're going to be successful. Um, you're going to win the battle. Maybe not the war. Maybe you're going to win by walking off, strutting your stuff. Um, you're not going to engage. Yeah, with the emperor, maybe with um, a husband or an ex-husband or someone who's older, someone who's married, you're not going to deal with this. They want to put you in some type of cycle. They want to have you in the wash, rinse, repeat. So they want to always come back and forth or they always want to have you in a rotation. Somebody wants you in rotation. They could have a rotation of women or men. They want to be able to come towards you. The advice is the eight of swords. It's like somebody's trying to trap you. And right now, the trap that they set for you is kind of like they fell into because you walked off. You you said, I'm going to leave this alone. Um, you went the other way. And now this person is in isolation mentally. This is somebody who's not in a good place. Yeah, this is a powerful man. This is somebody who's got a little bit of power. I'm, I don't know. Somebody who wears an, in like a, a uniform, uh, officer. I don't know, officer of the law. I don't know. It's somebody who is just not in a good headspace. Protect yourself. Please do. Uh, one more card for Aries here. This is somebody who just went on the deep end here because they can't have you. Maybe because you deny them. You're denying the relationship. Yeah, the I knew it was coming out. You said the relationship is over. You're not giving any second chances. You're trying to grow and transform your life. And they don't like that. They're done. They need to go somewhere and heal their heart, healing heart. They need to heal from the heartbreak, from the relationship, from the toxicity. Or this is what you're doing, but they need to do this too. This is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. 
go over to the website and um, book your own reading if you feel like this was your reading if you're done type done down there in the comment section so that we can manifest collective energy of being done with this energy because this is scary at best okay um get your own personal reading by going over to the website keep in mind that readings are 50 percent off so the price you see is not the price it is 50 percent off use code five zero uh off 50 off at checkout. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.